Hey, welcome back. Today is March 12th, Friday, and on this post, I'll be telling you about the overall crypto markets, which includes Bitcoin dominance and Bitcoin price action, and see how they could potentially affect the overall altcoin markets before diving into synthetics, SNX, USD, and see what exactly is going on in here. I'll be telling you about the bullish and bearish case scenarios for today, as well as the short-term price addiction on this market, according to what I'm seeing on the charts. Before I begin today, if you guys are enjoying this content, make sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video as I'll be keeping you updated on the latest crypto setups on my watch list, regardless if it's a good day or a bad day. If you guys do want to support me and don't already have a Weibo brokerage account, you guys can use my referral link down below. They're still giving away two free stocks as of today upon a successful sign up and a qualifying deposit for $100. US And I will also receive a referral bonus if you guys sign up under me. Please start to read my full disclaimer below. I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. I'm purely sharing my own speculations and opinions on this market. I cannot tell you the future and you should always do your own due diligence before trading or investing in this market as it's extremely risky and volatile. If you guys have any questions or comments, place it only in the comment section below. But I'll try my best to get to as many of them as possible. Now, so what exactly is going on in this market? First, most importantly, as you take a look into Bitcoin dominance, tells me what the money could be trending into. Would it be Bitcoin, altcoins, or neither? Today, we do have Bitcoin dominance up about 1%. This breaks down to Bitcoin price action down about 2%, while total altcoin market cap down over 4%. Now, this is the downside of Bitcoin dominance trending upwards. I will usually see. Bitcoin pullbacks more bearishly affecting the total altcoin market cap. I usually emphasize Bitcoin dominance trending downwards, which is generally speaking, better for the altcoins on both the upside and downside. Now, on the daily time frame here, it looks like the price action has gone back on top of some of these key resistance levels, such as the daily 21MA, daily 50MA. Currently, the key resistance I'm seeing on this snapshot here is the daily 200MA. The focus, as I've been saying, has been shifted to the three-day time frame here because for this bullish pattern on Bitcoin dominance, I do think it's leaning towards being invalidated with this most recent low right here. However, on the three-day time frame, there is still a double bottom pattern playing out with bullish divergence. Okay, if Bitcoin dominance actually plays out according to this pattern and goes back upwards, not as ideal for the altcoins. Let's take a look into Bitcoin price action. Bitcoin price action here, as I've been saying, there is still a mixture of bullish and bearish signals. Bullish signals include price action did break out of this falling watch pattern. A couple of days back, measure target was about 59K. Price action got pretty close to it. Right now is getting resistance from about this 58K area. Okay. Now, it has also gone back on top of its daily to uh, 21 MA right here, the blue line right here, which I have been saying was key resistance, now key support. Also, if the price action was to get some resistance from this 58K level area right here, my prediction is it's probably going to run within the ascending triangle pattern. Because if I actually look at uh, my trend lines right here, which I have predicted for the past couple of days, if the price action wants to retreat from about 58K here, it could possibly come back down to retest this daily 21MA here, which is pretty parallel with my bottom trend line. In that case, I do think it may be running within the ascending triangle pattern, which is still a bullish pattern. Now, these are the bullish signals. Bearish signals include monthly and weekly time frame RSIs, still possible bearish divergence. So I will not lose track of that. If price action on Bitcoin here does pull back some more, it could still have an effect on the altcoins just as we are seeing right now. Magnitude of that effect would depend on how far up or down Bitcoin dominance is trending. Let's go ahead to synthetics. Let's see what exactly has gone on in here. So I'm going to take a look from the monthly time frame RSIs down to the daily, which I consider to be macro time frames. Let's look for any overbought RSI readings or possible bearish divergence. Monthly time frame here, we don't have a reading, so I'm not concerned here. Let's move down. Weekly time frame here, we have an RSI reading of about 62, 63. 
So not in overbought territory. However, if the price action was to make a higher high here, it does need to beat the last RSI reading of 88 to negate possible bearish divergence. Three day time frame here, we are at an RSI reading of about 54. Okay. Almost the same thing with what I said with the weekly time frame. However, the last RSI reading to beat is about 75. If the price action was to make a higher high on the three day time frame to negate possible bearish divergence. Daily time frame here, we are at an RSI reading of 42. So I'm not concerned with um, some of these. RSI readings I have just pointed out that were not in overbought territory. Okay. If the price action was to make a higher high here, it does need to be an RSI reading of about 73 to negate bearish divergence on the daily time frame. Let's look into uh, the pattern that I think we're dealing with here, which is a symmetrical triangle pattern, most apparently seen on the three day time frame here, excluding this wick that's um, a one off wick right here. Now, symmetrical triangle patterns are generally continuation patterns. According to Thomas Bukowski and his website, thepatternsite.com, it is a 60% chance of it breaking to the upside. Okay. Now, if this price action actually breaks the upside, and I do, I do also want to mention that we do already have a validated symmetrical triangle pattern here with two sets of swings up and two sets of swings down here. Okay. If this price action breaks to the upside by the apex, of this triangle here. As far as you can read it, it's about $33.50. Let's take a more exact difference. So it's about $30 on the top here, just for even. Bottom here is about $15, just to be even, excluding this wick as well. So it's about difference of eight, uh, $15. So adding it back, on top of $20, which will be about $35 measure target here. Now measure targets are theoretical approximate targets only may actually be different in real life price action, more or less. Let's also take a look into uh, the possible. Um, let's take a look into the key resistances and supports here as well. Resistance will include about this $22 fib level area, followed by $24. Well, we did see quite a bit of resistance from past trading history. 26, 28, 30. So basically quite a bit of these psychological resistances, even if it looks like the price action has broken out of this symmetrical triangle pattern. Those are some of the key levels I'll be watching out for, for possible rejections. Key support here is the 3-day 21MA, which is within the pattern, followed by the $18 FIB level area. If that does not hold, it does seem like I will have to defer to the next FIB level at about $15 because the weekly 21MA is still pretty lagging behind. Okay, let's take a look into the bullish and bearish case scenarios here. Bullish case scenario, price action breaks out of the symmetrical triangle pattern. It looks like the next key level of resistance will be right above the pattern at about the $22. Okay followed by the other price levels I have just pointed out that could be acting as resistance. So price action breaks above the top trend line. Let's see how many of these resistance levels can it get through and go towards its metric targets. That's the bullish case scenario. Bearish case scenario, price action breaks its bottom trend line. It looks like I would have to look at the $18 FIB level area as the next level of key support, followed by $15 because the weekly 21MA is still lagging behind. Now, those are the key supports I'll be looking at if the price action breaks the symmetrical triangle pattern. And these are my bullish and bearish case scenarios for today. Let me know if you found it helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Let me know agreements, disagreements, feedback. I love to hear them. Hope you manage your risk carefully. And if you'd like to see any more of my most recently uploaded videos on YouTube, you guys can check out my links up here on YouTube. See you next time.